Okay, on this worksheet, we have some loan analysis. And so to begin with, we're just going to create a payment function, an NPR function, and a PV function. So we'll start there. So the payment function, um, when you do the open parentheses, the rate, and we want to choose the monthly rate because we're calculating monthly payments. So remember when you're calculating payments, you always want to, if you have a monthly rate, or a monthly payment, you need a monthly rate. So if you have an annual rate, you could always divide by 12, but it's divided by 12 already right here. So, and then our NPR, which is the number of payments, and what is the present value, which that's designated here. So we get a payment of 1564. So what if instead you had said, I can only make a $1,200 payment, how long would that take me to pay this off? Well, the payment function you can actually use in any, you can make, any of the arguments be the function, so the NPR function, so works very similar. We just choose the rate, uh, the payment, and the PV, and it will tell us that it will take 65 payments, so we can just divide 65 by 12 to see that, what, uh, okay, I totally messed that up. So click on this, and divide by 12, and it would take five and a half years approximately to pay it off if we paid 1200. Another variation of that would be if we could pay $13.50 a month, how much could we borrow? So we can solve for PV with the same kinds of arguments. Just follow the order that Excel tells you here. And you get that we can borrow $56,000 instead of $65,000. Okay, so the next two things that you're going to do here are net present value. And so that's of this return on investment. So if it costs $65,000 to start this business and you expect these income amounts each year, um, what's the net present value of that business? So we're going to do an MPV calculation. And the rate here is given. So if we d would like to make 10%, all right, when you do NPV, you never choose that startup amount because the NPV calculation is discounting each one of these values um, by this 10%, and the startup's actually today, so um, there's no discount on that. So we see that the 62297 is the net present value of those future income streams, but it also says less the startup value, so we're just going to do plus and then click on this number since it's negative. I did the plus, and it'll show us that it actually, if we if we hope to make 10% on our money, um, we'd be better off keeping our investing our 65,000 somewhere else where we can make 10 that 10% um, 10 because it's 2,703 dollars um, less than our desired rate of return. Another way to look at desired rate of return is to calculate the internal rate of return. It's a lot easier to think about because you just do IRR and highlight both the initial investment numbers and all future streams and it gives you that 8.7 percent so you can see that this investment in starting this art gallery um, is only going to return 8.7 percent which is why we got this negative number here